All right, um, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but this is mostly for my own sake. I ordered a brand new set of rod bolts from SCAT, and they confirmed to me that they'd never been put in a set of rods or never been torqued or anything like that. So in theory, these should all be within what ARP calls one thousandth of an inch tolerance in their manufacturing. And as the last set of bolts that I had went up to nine thousandths of an inch in difference, I'm really curious and just want to make sure that if I buy what they call a brand new set bolts, will not have those differences and then at least I can figure out what's going on with the stretch differences and all that sort of stuff. So this is literally, it came to my work today in the mail, I've been dying to get home and do this. It's sealed, sealed, like, so. I'm gonna try and be really quick about it and cut this down, because I don't want this to be super long. There's a video of me cutting a box of bolts open, it's probably pretty boring, but I, I'm i really curious, the guy, you know, the guy on the phone, oh, I had to buy these again, I shouldn't even have to buy these. These, the bolts were, were already, Post when I got them, but no one wanted to take responsibility from it, either ARP or SCAT. So I bit the bullet and I bought a complete new set, and then they finally turned up today. And now I'm going to see. I don't even know how they're packed or what I'm expecting to see. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and measure them all, and if there's a difference of more than 1,000 between each bolt, then it's either ARP's fault or SCAT's fault, but at least I'll have some type of base to go off. So they're, uh, well, there's no joke, they, they look new, that's for sure. But, um, they've all got these little tubes on them. Apparently I can't get off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is this gauge, I set this up, the ARP asks uh, state with this gauge to preload it. Um, it's already set with a preload based off the other bolts. It only needs to be uh, 20 to 40 thou preloaded and it's it'll be preloaded once I, I put a bolt in. So I'm going to put the first one in and then I don't know if I get any light here. So now this is this is the first bolt. This is just as new of an experiment to me as anything else. So that's seated and now where that needle's at I'm going to zero this bolt. So this is going to be my standard. So that's locked off at zero. That's seated well. And so, in theory, I should be able to go through all 16 of these and not see a difference over one thousandth of an inch according to ARP or SCAT. Who, and SCAT weren't very helpful, uh, as I mentioned before when I talked to him. The guy wouldn't do anything except try and sell me a new set of bolts. Uh, even though I explained the problem, he really didn't give me any other option so I thought you know what screw it I'm just gonna buy a new set and then I'll call his bluff so so now we're zeroed and this is the first bolt so in theory I should not see any divergence from that one more than one thousandth of an inch through every bolt first one out of the friggin hole three thousandths of an inch. Great. Okay. So it's three thousandths longer. Let's go to the next one. Okay, that one's good. It's right on the money. Okay, let's put the ones that are on the money. This is this was the one that was a little longer. Let's put it down here. These two are good so far. I mean, already, the fact the first friggin' one that I pick is off by that much. 
five thousands of an inch it's off okay so it's been a while since I got the bolts from RP um, I'm tacking this onto the end of the video so it's just all one uh, in good news everything's together all the rods and stuff are assembled um, I didn't end up using the ARP bolts, the new ones from SCAT. I ended up using mine, uh, the ones that I originally had based off not wanting to put different bolts since these have been cut and everything. And they've, they've been honed with those bolts in them and you know, reality, as I said, it's not really going to make a difference with this application if they're off a few thousands. Um, what I did do to uh, figure out if everything's in check because I was saying my biggest problem was that these weren't I wasn't able to measure for stretch because they were different size lengths um, what I ended up doing is uh, so I get this. basically I took the rod before I tightened it this has got rings and everything on them right now but um, basically uh, I took my measurement of the bolts loose, so these are hand tight like now. Um, and then I found the bolt and I found zero on it. I'm sure you can see. I found zero on the on the bolt and just remembered what side of the rod it was on, so okay, there's my zero. And now I knew that that's zero specifically for that bolt. And then I went around the rod over and then use my second marker on this side and I was like okay and set this one for that to be my zero for this bolt and then basically put it up in the vise torque the bolts down came back and checked and ultimately enough I was able to uh, they they say no more than five thousandths of an inch stretch and every bolt came in at uh, four or four and a half thousandths torquing to 63 foot pounds with the ARP lube so it's definitely a success uh, based off having such different bolt lengths to begin with um, so and then on top of it all it's it's somewhat useless anyway because reality is it's not going to matter like I said with this engine but the thing still does confuse me is that you know they stated hey this is going to be everything should be in within one thousandth and if they said that it, every bolt would be within three or four thousandth of an inch I uh, I wouldn't have bought another set and went through it because I would have taken these to be acceptable so but anyway uh, everything's ready to go. Bearings are in. Um, I cleaned the block again. Um, just wiped everything down. Make sure there's no crap in it. Yeah. Um, all the rings and gap oil rings are on. Uh, the um, spiral locks are on. <laughs> Would you believe it? Uh, number three was uh, a bit of a nightmare. I uh, ended up with the rod on backwards, so I had to take my time and get the. Um, the spiral lock out and that was a huge pain trying not to damage the piston doing it but I got it out um, so it was just my own fault not paying attention um, I actually would have this assembled right now um, if I had a snout bolt I, uh, I don't have one so I can't turn the engine over and I want to check for drag as I assemble everything um, I have one in the Firebird but it's you know it's on the car so I thought well uh, it should be in the mail tomorrow and then I can put the rods and everything in and uh, have a finished rotating assembly. Site clearances are good. Uh, I can't think of anything else that came up problem wise. Just pretty stoked to be honest with everything. So it's all good news. Alright, cheers.